climate change, pandemics, artificial intelligence. These issues loom large in political, economic, and cultural discourse. They are also issues that find form in the interface between science and society, requiring a mix of technical, communicative, and argumentative skills to navigate. This in-demand skill set is what the course Biology with Science and Society offers you. Combining a fully-fledged biology program accredited by the Royal Society for Biology with a wide range of humanities modules taught within the world-renowned Center for the History of Science, Technology and Medicine. Biology with Science and Society is a mix between the history of science and the communicating of science with actual biology itself. I chose to study Biology with Science and Society because I did a mix of humanities and science at A-level and I wanted a course that kind of encapture that as well. I'm able to do zoology units, I'm able to do molecular biology units, I'm able to do neuroscience units, but then also I can come away with it and say, well, I also did a histam unit and I did, I learned about, again, modernity and uh, postmodern perceptions of science. I learned about the history of pandemics. It just gives you a better understanding of the world around you. Biology with Science and Society allowed me to take a useful module in second year called Are We Alone? And from that I discovered astrobiology and discovered that there was a hotspot in Edinburgh for astrobiology research. So I emailed one of the academics there and fast forward to third year I was doing a research placement in Edinburgh conducting my own and group research about life in space. I'm on a science communication placement so I'm working within the marketing team to deliver innovation stories to the public about what CPI is doing. So yeah, CPI is just a scientific organisation who helps out in sustainability, uh, agri-food tech, healthcare, pharma. Firstly, Manchester is a city of great culture, you know. You go all the way back to the Stone Roses and before. And you've got, you've got, uh, you've got a city of great culture, uh, of great music, of art. Manchester is such a great city, it's so big and like there's always stuff to do and I think the university is great, like it's, like it's, there's so many students but like that doesn't mean that you don't get like time with your tutors, like my tutor has been like really good and he was very helpful in helping me secure the placement as well. 